Here, we're going to talk a little bit about effect modification or interaction. So we previously introduced the idea of, of what effect modification is earlier in the course, and we're going to lean on that understanding, so we're not going to rehash that whole discussion, but we'll bring back some of the important points that we need to get fresh in our minds again. So a reminder, what we're starting to work towards is building an effect size model to estimate the effect that smoking has on the risk of low birth weight. <clears throat> and here, we want to think about, um, does race potentially make sense as an effect modifier? So does race modify the effect that smoking has on low birth weight? So what we're going to do in this video is first think conceptually, does it make sense that it could potentially be an effect modifier? Then we'll look at what the model would look like if it, we included it as an effect modifier, as well as how we can get odds ratios for smoking out of a model that includes effect modification. So let's just think of the diagram conceptually. Here we're looking at the effect that smoking has on low birth weight. And there's this other variable race that we might include. So what we want to think is, does this diagram make sense conceptually? So let's think of the second point first. Um, X2 is not on the pathway between X1 and Y. So here we're thinking that race changes the effect that smoking has on low birth weight, but race is not on the pathway between the two. Right? So smoking does not affect race, which in turn affects low birth weight. So we don't have it sitting there on the pathway. Now, does it make sense conceptually that the effect that smoking has on low birth weight could change depending on race. Yeah. So in other words, for one race category, smoking really increases the likelihood of low birth weight. For another race category, it increases it, but only a little bit. <clears throat> so I'd say, conceptually, it makes sense potentially as a confounder. Right? We know that the effect that certain exposures have on risk of disease changes depending on um, race categories, right? Some races are more likely or less likely to get certain diseases. So we can hypothesize that it might make sense. And let's think about what, what it would mean in concept if the effect smoking had on low birth weight was modified by race. So what this would mean Well, first let me write it generically. It would mean that the effect of smoking on low birth weight depends on race. Or in other words, the odds ratio changes depending on the race category. So in other words, that's saying we need an odds ratio of smoking, right? The effect of smoking for white. We need an odds ratio of smoking for black. And we need an odds ratio for smoking for other. And so if we want to say what effect does smoking have on low birth weight, it would need to be specific to race. Here's the effect of smoking for white. Here's the effect of smoking for black. Here's the effect for other. Okay, so that's what it means in, in concept. Like that if we believe there's effect modification, we believe that the effect of smoking changes depending on race category, and we need to um, state a smoking effect for each of the race categories. Now, um, what I'll say is, in a separate video going into R on our data set, we explore all this conceptually as well as numerically. What we do there is fit a model that includes an effect modification term. I'm going to mention that we're actually going to find out there it's not statistically significant. But what I want to do in these next few videos is go through the exercise of if it was statistically significant, how could we get these three different odds ratios, what would their interpretation be, and so on. Right, so I want to go through the exercise of how do we work with effect modification, and then we'll actually end up finding out it's not statistically significant and we shouldn't have three different odds ratios. We can just report an odds ratio for smoking that's not race specific. But like I said, for the, for the exercise of going through working with an effect modification model, um, we're going to do that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to write down the model 
um, output that we'd get and the coefficients we'd get if we included the effect modification. In a separate R video, I'm, I'm doing all that. We're going to do that and work with it here. So what you end up with there is the log of P over 1 minus P. And again, a reminder of translating this to English. The log odds of low birth weight. Right, so the log odds of having a low birth weight baby is going to come out to negative 2.3 plus 1.75 times the indicator of smoking plus 1.51 times the indicator for black plus 1.74 times the indicator for other Let me just write it down here. Minus 0.56 times the indicator for smoking times the indicator for black. Minus 1.53 times the indicator for smoking times the indicator for other. So the First note I want to make before I get into working with this model is <clears throat> just a reminder that the way I'm approaching things through the course is we often are looking at each of these ideas in their own compartment and then towards the end of the um, unit or towards the end of logistic regression in this case we start to tie them all together. So right now I'm just looking at the effect of smoking on low birth weight and examining race category as an effect modifier. And what that would look like, what it means, how we can calculate these odds ratios, and so on. And I'm ignoring the fact that there's other variables we might want to include or adjust for. Right? So again, this is what I mean by um, looking at it kind of compartmentalized. So what I'm going to do is show you how we get the three odds ratios for white, for black, and for other. First, I'm going to put the shorthand way to get there and give you the three of them. And then for one of them, I'm going to work it out um, kind of a, a long, painful way to, to show you how I got to the, the shorthand part. So the odds ratios are e to the 1.75. That's the smoking effect. And if you remember, this is the smoking effect for white, right? There being the reference. Minus 0.56 times the indicator for black. Okay. This is how the smoking effect changes if someone's black. It's the white effect minus the change for someone who's black. Minus 1.53 times other. And again, this is how does the smoking effect change for someone who's categorized as other relative to white. So if you were to work these out, you'd end up finding the odds ratio, again, this is of smoking, for white is e to the 1.75, and that comes out to 5.76. The odds ratio of smoking for black e to the 1.75 minus 0.56. For black, this indicator is going to take on a value of 1. That comes up to 3.3. And the odds ratio of smoking for category other, e to the 1.75 minus the 1.53. And again, the smoking effect for white. How does the smoking effect change for other? 1.25. In a moment, I'll get to kind of deriving one of these um, from the <clears throat> basic principles. Before I do that, I just want to say, in the following week, what we're going to do is compare and contrast the idea of using effect modification, so modeling this. If we think that the effect of smoking change depending on race category, we can include effect modification and address it that way. <clears throat> or you could think about stratifying, right? cutting the data into these three separate race categories. The white data, black data, other data, 
fitting three separate models and getting a smoking effect within each. So we'll compare and contrast a little bit about modeling effect modification versus stratifying um, the pros and cons of each. So I just wanted to give that kind of prelude because you, based on some of your epi training, you may be thinking, why don't we do stratified analysis? And that is an option. And we'll compare and contrast this approach with stratification. Um, yeah, I believe we'll do that in the, the next week's set of lectures. So what I want to do is just show you why the odds ratio for other, I'll just choose this one, why we can get at it this way. And this is going to be the same, essentially the same calculation I went through when I was showing you why is e to the b1 an odds ratio. So let's look at this. If we want to get the log odds ratio of smoking, I can say given that race is other. So first I'm going to start with getting the log odds ratio. Right, this here. Um, the odds ratio of smoking, given that the race category is other, but I'm going to start by working on the log scale. So this can be written as the log of the odds of low birth weight, given they smoke, and the race is other, divided by the odds of low birth weight, given that they do not smoke, and the race is other. I'll just put OT to shorten it. So all I've done right now is right now what the odds ratio is. Right? It's a ratio of the odds. The odds of low birth weight for smoking relative to not smoking. And again here we're conditioning on the race category, the third race category other. Now we saw this property, the log of A divided by B can be written as log of A minus log of B. So we can write this as the log odds of low birth weight given they smoke, and I'm just going to say and other. Okay, I'm going to shorten some of the writing that I do. Is that minus the log odds of low birth weight, given they do not smoke, and they're other. Now, given that the room on the board is running out, I'm going to not write out every term. I'm going to leave out the obvious parts. Okay. So, here, the log odds of low birth weight for someone that smokes and is categorized as other is negative 2.3 plus. 1.75 times 1, right? So remember, this is giving us the log odds, right? The log odds of low birth weight, and we want to condition on someone smokes, and they're in other race category. So <clears throat> they smoke, this takes on a value of 1. This indicator for black is going to take on 0, right? Remember, they're categorized as other. So I'm just going to leave that out. Plus 1.74 times 1, right, they're categorized as other, so this coefficient takes on a value of 1, sorry, this indicator takes on a value of 1. Minus 0 0.56 times, well let's write that out, minus 0 0.56 times smoking, that indicator takes on 1, and black takes on 0, right, they're in the other category. All of that, minus 1.53, Smoking is yes, other is yes. So that here is this here. Okay. Now let's work out this half. All of that minus the log odds of low birth weight, the log odds of low birth weight, given they do not smoke and their categorized as other. The log odds low birth weight, negative 2.3 plus 1.75 times 0, because right, now we're saying they do not smoke. The indicator for black is going to be 0, so I'll leave that out. The other, plus 1.74 
times one, right? the indicator of other takes on a value of one. This term's not there, right? They do not smoke and um, they're not black. And then maybe I'll write this one in, it's gonna disappear. 1.53, the indicator for smoking is no. The indicator for other is yes. So we have all of this minus all of this. Let's see what goes away. Negative 2.3 minus negative 2.3. We've got this. Um, sorry, let's get rid of these zero terms. This is zero. Right, it's multiplied by zero. This is zero. That's zero. We have 1.74 minus 1.74. Those are going to cancel out. And what are we left with? 1.75. Minus 1.53. Okay. Let me just point this out. This here was the log odds ratio. So the odds ratio is E to the 1.75 minus 1.53. Okay. What we've got there. Okay, so what I wanted to show you was kind of the long painful way of getting there but uh, that goes based on the principles once you're a little bit more comfortable you can jump to the kind of the, the shorter end right of knowing that if we want the odds ratio for smoking we only need to include any of the coefficients that involve smoking here's the smoking effect for white here's how the smoking effect changes for black here's how the smoking effect changes for other right? all those other coefficients are going to end up um, canceling out or taking on um, values of zero. Okay. So what we're going to do is look at working with the same model and getting the same odds ratios but uh, doing it using R. Stick around guys, there's more to see and please stay safe.